With the yield on the benchmark 10-year Treasury surging up to its highest level since 2011 today, making investors feel kind of gun-shy about buying the high-yielding real estate investment trust, it's worth remembering that there are other ways to play this booming business. Remember CBRE Group, which now trades under CBRE, a much more straightforward symbol than its old one? CBRE is the world's largest purveyor of commercial real estate services. They help real estate investors by giving them outsourced leasing, sales, appraisals, development and property management services, along with a lot of helpful technology. Now, after rallying nearly 40% last year, this stock has put on another 8.4% for 2018. Plus, roughly two weeks ago, CBRE reported a darn good quarter, giving us a bountiful top and bottom line beat. 20% earnings growth, even as the first quarter tends to be the slowest time of the year. And while the stock moved up on the news, it's still down about 3% from its all-time high about a month ago. So could this thing have more upside? Let's check in with Bob Salentic. He's the president and CEO of CBRE Group to find out more about how his company's doing. We're set up, Mr. Salentic. Welcome back to Mad Money. Good to see you, sir. Jim, good to see you. Congratulations on just a, you. still one more great quarter. And I think what people have to recognize is you can be in a real estate investment trust and be at the mercy of the of the uh, tenure, the 30-year, or you can be in Involved with a company like yours, which has strong secular trends that are backing it, that are not tied up to the tenure at all. That's right, Jim. We have two big customer groups, occupiers of commercial real estate mm -hmm. who hire us to provide various services and investors in commercial real estate. Occupiers are outsourcing more and more services to companies like ours. Since I've come into the business, investors have put 5x, five times the amount of uh, capital into commercial real estate that they had previously. And both of those client groups are consolidating the number of service providers they use around the world. Well, that's the biggest name, um, or the biggest customer base. That's been a real, real positive for us. And if people are worried about inflation, what is there a better hedge than uh, being in commercial real estate? Well, commercial real estate is a good hedge, but what's really helping our investors is these secular trends and our long-term growth. We are now eight years into double-digit earnings growth. That's amazing. And we've said that we expect to grow those earnings double-digit again this year. Now, one of the things that I thought was outstanding was that you cited both Germany and Japan as strong. You know, Germany, I get a stronger economy, but there's always issues. Japan's doing well, huh? We've had a long-term, really positive run in Japan and across Asia. We've Now we can serve our clients around the world better than we ever could before. We're more connected. That means Japan. That means India. That means China. And then we've added a lot of talent and upgraded our leadership teams in those markets. We've had a strong run across Asia for the last several years. I thought it was interesting someone asked on the, on the call that if you recruit, that is the solution for the secret of how you can have an out year's great numbers. Well, recruiting has been a big opportunity right. for us. And like clients that come to us, brokerage professionals want to be somewhere that where they can do more than they can do anywhere right. else. So when we go out into the marketplace and try to hire brokerage professionals, we have a big advantage. They can come into our business and make more money here than they can make elsewhere. Okay, I also like the advantage that you're giving to people with big data, including predictive analysis. Can you give us an example of what you, can, what you predicted for customers? Well, I want to start with what we do for customers. Okay. We manage five billion square feet of space around the world. We have office space with almost nine million people occupying that office space. We have a lot of information about what goes on in those buildings, the operation of those buildings, what the users of those buildings want. And by the way, we've now started to develop a uh, application called CBRE 360. It's an experience app for the users of those buildings, and we're using a lot of the data we're collecting to help occupants use the buildings more efficiently and attach to the amenities and the experiences that they so much want. Well, let me get your uh, just your feel for some of real estate. I was over at this Robin Hood terrific foundation yesterday at the Javits Center. Uh, the Hudson Yard seems like the biggest project I've ever seen. I did a, a feature last year, a uh, uh, downtown real estate. Is there too much real estate in New York or any other markets or is it all going to get filled, you think? In my entire career, which is approaching 35 years now, we've never been this deep into an expansion and had so little vacancy. So little vacancy. Vacancy in, in markets around the world. That doesn't mean there aren't pockets where there's some vacancy, but when you look at New York, you see all this new space that's been added. Yeah. Well, much of it's been spoken for before it's ever been built. 
the amount of office space that plans that's planned to come online in New York over the next several years will only add two or three percent to the basis of office space. And of course, you have some becoming antiquated along the way. So I think things are generally in good shape. You know, you made me feel good, OK, because I'm always worried about overbuilding because that's a sign that I, we got to be careful from my, you know, my point of view of the stock business. Mm -hmm. But what you said and you've got the worldwide uh, feel makes me feel a lot better. I want to thank Bob Slintick, the president and CEO of CBRE Group. What an amazing performing stock. And now you see why it's an amazing performing company. They have money's back after the break.